So there are three things you're going to need. You'll need a computer, DaVinci Resolve downloaded and installed, and you'll need the files I provide for this project. Your computer will vary on how long some processes are gonna to take to complete while editing or exporting your video. The files you're going to need are located in the there will be four images and one audio file. Now, once you have DaVinci Resolve downloaded and installed, we can begin. So let's start up DaVinci Resolve and let's get started. So let's start with how we can start this project. We're going to click on new project once we have DaVinci Resolve started. And we're going to name it Counter Spell Project. So what you see right now can be a little intimidating, and that's okay because this is gonna be completely new to us. And that's all we had to do for creating our project. So let's move on to importing our files into DaVinci Resolve. And now we're going to take those files I put in the class project. We're gonna put them onto our editing software, DaVinci Resolve. And so I recommend you putting them in a file on your desktop so they can be easily accessed and know where to find them and then you move those or you drag them into where it says no clips in media pool. And so now that these are in our media pool, this is us telling the project what it's gonna be about. So we have these specific files for what project we're working on. And we're going to, now that we have them imported, we're gonna move on to editing our audio. So here's where we're going to start editing our audio. We're going to click on the audio file in our media pool, and we're going to left click and drag it onto our timeline, which is the bottom section on your screen. And so what we're gonna do is left click our audio, and then we're going to right click it and click create new timeline using the selected clips. And then it's gonna come up with create a new timeline and we can name that whatever we want, but we just wanna keep this all in the same name. So we're just gonna name it Counterspell TL, just short for timeline. And the number of video tracks we're gonna put as two and audio tracks will be one, and uh, we'll leave the rest the same. And so then we're gonna hit the create button. So now that we have our audio on our software, You'll notice that there is uh, waves or white spaces within the software. So when I hit the play button or when I hit the space bar, it will start playing the audio. And so whenever there's this flat line, nothing's going on, there's no audio. So for example, let's play this and I'll show you what I mean. Hey everyone, today we're talking about counter spells. So every time it's that flat line, like I said, we're going to not have as much audio, but whenever we start to see those bumps within it, that's when we're seeing that audio or we are hearing that audio. So we don't want this empty space or this silence at the beginning of the video. We want there to be actual talking. So let's do that. So an important tool for you to know is this splits clip tool, which is right here. And wherever this red cursor is while we're in this menu, it's gonna tell us where or is going to tell the computer where we want to split the clip. So for example, we're going to click split clips and now they're two different clips, which is great. And so now we're going to delete this. We can hit the backspace, the delete key, and it will get rid of that. But the problem is whenever we start the audio, there's still nothing there. So how hey, do we everyone. fix that? So we're going to back that up and we have to move our audio over. And it's simple as that, we move it to the left and that's it. And so now when we play this, when it's from the very okay. beginning of the, the video. Hey everyone, today we're talking about counterspells, starting with counterspell. Which is great. And so now we're going to start making it a little bit better. So we have to listen to this a lot. So let's start listening to Hey it. everyone, today we're talking about counterspells, starting with counterspell. For two blue mana, we can counter any target spell. So that was a little bit too long of a silence, too long of a break right here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hit the split clips icon uh, at around seven seconds right here. Uh, don't worry about the one right here, just worry about what's going on over on the right. Now that we've split that clip, let's focus on this icon, not when we have the two bars, but when we have the one with a razor tool. 
we're going to left click and drag that right just right before we get to when I start talking again and then we can left click the audio on the right left click and drag it and then it will move it oh, over again and so now we can start it from not the beginning but for close two to blue it mana, we can counter any target spell but for one blue mana cheaper so now we don't have that long space there anymore we get a spell but for one blue mana cheaper we get blue elemental blast again there's that long space there so let's get rid of that as well and it's okay if you listen to this over and over again you just want to make sure it seems natural for blast and so we'll hit the split clip and we'll do it just before we start talking again. We'll hit split clips. And then we'll delete this and drag this over. But this only get blue elemental blast. But this only works for red spells. And it can destroy red permanents. Again, we have this space here, so let's switch that clip. Let's see when we start talking as well. Destroy red permanents. About right here. So we'll hit the split clip tool. We'll move over just before we're talking, just to give it a little space. We'll hit the split clip tool. We'll delete this and move our audio on the right to the left. And you can tell it's it's called a snap whenever that white line comes up there. And so we know it's it is starting whenever our clip is ending from the left. So let's listen can to it. Destroy red permanents. Last, we have Bone to Ash. This is a four-man... That was a little bit of a long pause. We'll listen to that again. Last, we have Bone to Ash. This is a... F f so I'm going to cut that a little bone bit. Bone to Ash. We'll split that clip. And we're going to move it over just a little bit. And then we're going to move our audio from the right to the left. Seeing that it has that snap line. This is a four mana spell. It can counter all. Again, we have a little bit of that awkward pause that I do, so we can cut that out as well. Spell. Hit that split clip, move it over to the right, and then move it to the left. In a spell, it can counter only creature spells. We'll split that clip, move it over to the right. Oh, I started, you can hear I started talking there. Oh. oh. Which is useful whenever we're cutting. And we'll move the audio to the left. Just spells. But we do get to draw a card. And again, you see that all the empty space Thanks there. for watching. All right, so let's cut after we say thanks for watching. We'll delete that. Okay. And then we'll have a little bit of a cut before we say thanks for watching. And we'll drag from the right as well. We don't need that much left after it. Draw a card. Thanks for watching. I kind of like we that. We do get to draw a card. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's listen to that all the way through. And how I did that is, uh, so there's two timelines. One is an overview of the whole thing, which is this top row. And the bottom is really a zoomed in version, as you can tell what's going on here. So how I went from the very end is I used this top row to go to the very left, which is the beginning of the whole audio. So now you can hit spacebar or this play button, and we're just going to listen to it, and we're going to see if we like it. Hey everyone, today we're talking about counterspells, starting with counterspell. For two blue mana, we can counter any target spell, but for one blue mana cheaper, we get blue elemental blast, but this only works for red spells, and it can destroy red permanents. Last, we have bone to ash. This is a four mana spell and can counter only creature spells, but we do get to draw a card. Thanks for watching. That was really good, and that was editing our audio. So let's move on to adding our images to our timeline. So now we're going to start adding our images to our timeline. And how we're going to do that is with moving on to the next menu, which is called the edit menu. 
And so we're going to left click that. And we do want to zoom in because it is pretty small right now. And how we can do that is with this slider over here. There's a minus and a plus button. And we will move it to the right and it will zoom in on our project, which is great. And I have four images here. So there's the background image. So let's add that to the, the timeline here. We will left click it and left click and hold it and move it on here. And so, so now we have actual pictures on our video and not just audio, which is great. And as you can see, it only covers part of the video. So what happens, I'll play it and I'll show you what would hey happen. Hey everyone, today we're talking about counter spells, starting with counter spell. For two blue mana, we can counter any... So it's no longer showing up in our video. That is the display going on in front of us. And so how do we fix that? Whatever is at the top most of our timeline is what we're going to see when it comes to the video. So let me show you how we can show our background throughout the whole video. So we're going to left click and we're going to drag this all the way to the end of this audio. And we can use either of these icons to drag it to the end. And it's going to be very helpful because it snaps at the end of these audios. And so now we know that this goes to the end of this video, which is great. And so now we should start adding our pictures or our magic cards. So let's start from the beginning of the video, which we can do that by moving the cursor by left click and holding, or we can left click just once and it will do that for us. But I like to left click and drag to make sure we're at the very beginning. So let's listen to it and see when we need to start adding our magic cards. Hey everyone, today we're talking about counter spells, starting with counter spell. For so whenever we say counter spell, let's add that image. Starting with and that's when we're going to start to say counter spell. So let's add counter spell one. Let's left click and drag that on here. And it luckily snaps to our red cursor. Starting with counter spell. For two blue mana, we can counter any target spell. But for one blue mana cheaper, we get blue elemental we get blue. So that's when we start to hear us say blue elemental blast. So let's add that to our timeline, which is counter spell two. We can just hover over it and it'll show us what we're looking at. So we'll left click and drag that right here. And we'll blue play. elemental blast. But this only works for red spells and it can destroy red permanents. Last we have bone to ash. Last we have bone to ash. Last we have bone. And so when we start to say that, we'll add our counterspell three image right here. Perfect. Bone to ash. This is a four mana spell and can counter only creature spells, but we do get to draw a card. Thanks for watching. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to start moving these clips so that whenever we're talking about these images, they're going to be on the screen. Because remember, the topmost is what we're going to see when it comes to video. So we get the background, but it's at the very bottom of our video. As you see, it's behind our card images. So we're going to left click and drag Counterspell 1 all the way to Counterspell 2. And we're going to left click Counterspell 2 on the right all the way to Counterspell 3. And we're going to left click and drag Counterspell 3 all the way to the end of the video. So now we're going to see what it looks like and what it sounds like. Hey everyone, today we're talking about counter spells, starting with counter spell. For two blue mana, we can counter any target spell, but for one blue mana cheaper, we get blue elemental blast. But this only works for red spells, and it can destroy red permanents. Last we have bone to ash. This is a four mana spell and can counter only creature spells, but we do get to draw a card. Thanks for watching. So that was great. So now let's move on to the final touches. So you can tell it's a little bit of choppy, like image just pops up out of nowhere, but we can actually make it look a little bit nicer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to another menu, the menu that we were previously at, which is the cut menu. We're going to left click that and we're going to left click our first counter spell. And then we're going to click on dissolve, which is over here. And now we can see what that would look like. Starting with counter spell. For two blue mana, we can counter any target spell. But for one blue mana cheaper, we get blue elemental blood. So you see how that is still a little bit choppy. So I click dissolve. And so now it's going to do that between the clips. So let's go 
back uh, five seconds or whatever, and we'll hit the plane. And cheaper, we get blue elemental blast, but this only works for red spells, and it can destroy red permanents. Last, we have bone to ash. This is a four mana. So let's click on dissolve one more time. We'll click on the bone to ash or the counterspell three image, and we'll click dissolve. And now, throughout our whole thing, our cards are showing up slowly instead of just popping out of nowhere. Starting with Counterspell. For two blue mana, we can counter any target spell. But for one blue mana cheaper, we get blue elemental blast. But this only works for red spells. And it can destroy red permanents. Last, we have Bone to Ash. This is... That is looking great. And so now let's focus on the background. So I clicked on our background, which is the first video file here. And we're going to go to the inspector tool over here. This may not be showing on your screen, but it's at the top right here. And you just left click it to have that show up. And it has zoom and it has an X and Y. You'll just left click and drag the zoom. And this arrow will come up and it will zoom in or zoom out of your photo. So let's zoom in to cover up those black edges, and we'll have the position of the Y. We'll go negative 155, and zoom for us was 1.32. So you can always uh, left click and type those in if you want, or you can left click and drag and figure out what you like to look at. And so now that covers our whole video. And so now there's no longer those black bars on the side of our video. So next, we're going to make the image a little bit blurry so it looks more pleasing to the eye. It's not just kind of digital looking. So we're going to go to the Effects tab at the top left here. And next, we're going to go to Gaussian Blur. Or, and now we're going to left click and drag this onto our image on our timeline. And now it's blurred out. And if we want to mess with those parameters, we can do so by going to this Effects tab up here while we still have our background image selected. So we can do that and we can tell this what strength we want it to be, maybe a little bit more or less. And I like the 0 0.4 they had, so we're just gonna keep that. And so let's take a look right here. Our background image is not all the way at the end, and now it is. All right, that was just a little thing we needed to fix. Now they're all lined up. But anyways, as you can tell, my computer can't really keep up with what's going on here. and. Like I mentioned before, depending on your computer is how well this will run and how well you can see what's going on while editing. And so those are the final touches. So let's talk about exporting our video and how we can upload this to our class project. So what we're going to do is go to the export tab, which is at the very right. It's called the deliver menu. We'll left click that. And then we're going to have all of these different parameters and so we're going to name it counterspell vid or video and we'll make the location just the desktop and that'll be fine and we'll hit the save button and we want to make sure video is selected export video is clipped format we're going to do mp4 codec h.264 resolution 1920 by 1080 frame rate let's do 30. Frame rate can be the same. Frame rate can be the same. Quality, automatic, and best, that's fine. And everything else looks great as well. So now we're going to click the Add to Render queue. And so now it's in the Render queue at this top right area. And now we hit Render All. And it will give you an estimation on how long this is gonna take. And so for my computer, it'll take about 30 seconds. And again, that can vary for your computer. If it's a faster computer, this will be done a lot quicker. And if it's a slower one like mine, it'll take about the time of the video. So now that we've successfully exported our video, you can now upload this to the class project. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the class discussion. Or if you have any suggestions for this class, let me know there as well. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, peace.